Patty ignored her and looked up at the ceiling. Yes, I imagine the clothing wouldn't feel so good if I had hair on my legs. Stand up. Francine, would you put on his, that is, her underclothing? All the sisters seemed a bit shy, in a girlish fashion, particularly the younger ones, all the same, they did allow themselves a peek here and there. And, of course, the girls who actually applied the clothing had the best view and didn't have to avert their eyes. A little giggling did take place now and then. After all, a girl cannot help herself. Oddly enough, whenever he felt that first touch of female clothing, he began to think differently, as if by magic. It was as if the clothing made him, softer, more vulnerable, less prone to object to orders. S. He felt, well, cozy. Time for the lacing, Patty. Said Martha. I know you asked us not to make it that tight, but, Patty it is clear that we must tighten you enough to get you into a dress, and the only size we have means you will have to be tighter than even the last time, because you have grown a bit. We have no larger sizes at this point that are not too large, and Graham will not permit us to alter, or even to teach you to alter, any of the dresses. She says you will just have to live with it. I'm sorry. Patty groaned. Being tight was one thing, but having to do chores while so laced was even worse. The act seemed to calm her when she was upset. No doubt, the girls noticed, as they did in the past, because they glanced at each other with a little smile. Patty went over to the high lacing bar in the other corner, and grabbed hold, as Martha placed the pretty blue satin corset about her waist.